watching any of my videos kisses to you guys you know thanks for clicking on this video and if you're a returning subscriber thanks for coming back and watching this video and watching other videos if you are a first timer but not a subscriber please click on the button and subscribe to my channel like and share my videos so today I'm sure you have already seen from the title what we are here for yeah this is the part two of the question tag um, video that I did previously. Hey, pardon the noise that you'll be hearing from the background. Um, the gen is on and there's no way I can mute all the noise from the background. So just bear with me. Yeah. So um, I'm going to be taking the questions that I have. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, as I'm trying to put on the tab that I'll be using, please do me a favor and just subscribe to my channel. Thank you. So in case I laugh too much, please pardon me so like i did the other time all the questions are here on the tab and i'm just gonna answer them one after the other disclaimer please any married man that was mentioned in this video please note kindly note gently note patiently note that there's no attachment he's just for the youtube channel he's just that your husband is uh, he's worthy eh, of being somebody else's admirer i be admire <laughs> please i'm not running after anybody's husband please yo please i love my face i don't want acid thank you very much disclaimer you know he's just for the answering of the uh, question that people are asking me hmm? thank question you. one at what age did you have your first kiss ah wait what age did I have my first kiss? Um, 13 when I had my first kiss. Ah, please don't come after me. You know what? <laughs> Do you know what Kama Sutra is? Did you ever own the book or the towel? Have you tried out any of the styles? Ha! Ah, well, I think everybody knows what, what Kama Sutra is. I mean, it's we're in the age of knowledge and hints, hints and it. Yes, I know what Kama Sutra is. I own the towel. It was this um, magic towel. Yeah, I own the towel. P.S. I did not know then that that was what it was. Have you tried any of the styles? Hey, <laughs> people, let us drink water. Uh -uh. Next question, please. Number three. Who will you kiss, kill, marry based on Nigerian celebrity? Jesus. <laughs> Who likes kiss? I said, Nigerian celebrity. Hey, Jesus. Who likes kiss? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm. Mm. Let me think. Let me think. Ah, who is fine in this industry by Jesus? I will kiss Ramsey Noah. Yeah. Ah, please, yo, it's married, yo. I know. I is just a. Uh, I just answering the question. Everything here is not reality. Something. Who like marry? Ah, person I would have married is married, but yeah. I think I'll marry Aaron. Ah, I is just fine. Yeah, boy, he's married. Kids. His son is my sick, I know. Yeah. In case he's watching this video. Mingo. <laughs> who like you? Ah, who like you? Johnny Boo. <laughs> Aki and Popo, those two are my kids. They are too annoying. They cause so much havoc in their movies. Yeah. If your ex wants you back, what will you do? <laughs> The sugar that you will be. Ooh, this person. <laughs> if I'm to have a sugar day, a sugar dairy, <laughs> a big god, it will be nobody else but Richard Mofe. That big joke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that guy is just <laughs> young forever. Yeah, sorry, Sal. But yeah, I'll, it will be my sugar day. Oh, definitely. Oh, God, that guy is. Fine. Moving on. <laughs> Have you ever cheated on someone? No, never. Ah, please, you. I'm, I'm a one man person. If I just focus on you like this, back on. 
Come see you. Say, I'm not doing again, you know, before I'll do my again and move to the next person. Thank you. Next question, please. <laughs> Are you a friend with benefit kind of girl? <laughs> Bath goes. <laughs> Ah, I'm not a friend with benefit kind of girl, Leo. I need to catch feelings. Chop, chop. You know, but do 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 do. I'm not hard, hard guy, hard guy. I'm soft, soft like jelly bread. So yes, I need to do first benefit because I cannot remove feelings and give you body. Everything is the packaging. It's not one. If you want me, you come. You come to everything. Security is a necessity. Next question. L. Have you had a one night stand before? Hey, no gene because all gene ruke we. Hey, hey, hey. Well, I never had one night stand before. I still know how you people used to do it. So, all of it are very, very hand vengeance. I is not hand vengeance when it's that level. <laughs> no, I've actually never had a one night stand before, and I don't intend to have a one night stand. Have you ever made out in church before, like the house of the Lord? I have the fear of God in my heart. I used not make out inside the church before, yo. You people say, hey, ah, no made out in the church before, and I don't intend to make out in the church. If rapture should come now, where will you go? We don't know you people have asked me today. I don't want again. If rapture should come now, you banging, banging, banging. Rapture time. You people have been recording. You ready and time before you go? No, you people sit here watching my video. Me have lost my room. Come on, come, come. On to the next question. <laughs> what are you addicted to? Netflix. Yeah, I'm addicted to Netflix. And I'm addicted to sugar. I love sugar. I'm trying to work on it, but I can't help it. I have sweet tooth. Yeah. And I'm addicted to laughing. I can't help but laugh. I laugh a lot. I don't know the gas that is in me that produces this laughter. But I just can't help but laugh. Don't just laugh. <laughs> Yeah. What bad habit did you have while growing up that you still have till now? Ah, you people. <laughs> hey, see, my ear is normal like this now. Okay, wait, let me show you now. I'm not pushing like this, bam. I'm not pressing like this, bam. I'm not pressing again, bam. Oh, yeah, bass, boss. Are you see my ear? It's moving on its own, honey. <laughs> yeah, that's like a bad habit for me. I can leave it like this all day. I'm going to leave it like this together. Moving on. <laughs> what absurd question do people ask you frequently? Well, usually <laughs> people always ask me if I'm my parents' child. I don't know why they used to think I'm not Nigerian because of my hair. I always get that question like every time I leave my hair out and I go out like public, people always ask me, Oh, are you Nigerian? Are you sure you're over? Maybe when they see my parents, they're like, Are you sure you're your parents' child? Because your hair is not Nigerian. Pretty much. That's like the answer question you please ask me. Um, BDSM or vanilla? Is BDSM a flavor? I don't know. What are you talking about? Eh? Vanilla is a flavor on ice cream and chocolate. It's a flavor that they use for cake. Yo, this one is BDSM. I don't know what that is. Yo, I think I like vanilla. But I don't know what, it, I don't know what BDSM is. You people will not put me in for public people. Ah, 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 merci, my people. Ah, next question. Hmm. Sneakers or heels? Oh, definitely, I'm a sneaker person. I don't like wearing heels. Like, I hardly ever wear heels. I cannot wear heels for the whole day. I don't know how I'm going to walk in the back or when we get there, we cross that bridge. Yeah. Next question. What are your phobias? Phobias. Ah, I'm afraid of heights. Ah, they are little cannot claim with you. <laughs> I remember when I was in secondary school, I hated up rock because I was always afraid to come down. As Low as that thing was, I was so scared of coming down. Or oh, when I was on 400th floor in Covenant and I would look down, Jesus. Ah, I'm afraid of heights. Ah, no, 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 no. Think that girls will not do heights at all, at all. Another phobia I have is water, like large, like sea, ocean, swimming pool. <laughs> I'm afraid of being poor. So the phobia for that is tell me the name because I, I, I have fear of poverty. <laughs> I cannot be poor. I maintain until I don't feel be poor. So it's a phobia for poverty. I'm happy Thank you. <laughs> Next question. What does cook beans mean in the bank? <laughs> when your balancing do not balance where well, everybody you have to be looking for where the balancing is. That's your cooking beans. You cook beans. If you cook beans, <laughs> they will cook you out of the of the of the bank and, and burn your name in the book of bank. 
so be careful have you been to a club before if yes mention the clubs you have been to well yeah i've been to a nightclub before i mean i went to second i went to university something that you just want to try out um i've been to dna i've been to 57 i've been to kibana i've been to um Kilox. I've been to Rumors, I've been to Escape. These are the ones I can't remember right now. If you're given an opportunity to replace one part of your body, which would it be? <laughs> My answer. <laughs> I already know that him. Has him shopping like this, you know, everywhere. Just look at my shoes, like for quick. Yeah, I already have stomach. I remove all the fat in my tummy and take it to my hand. In here, my toe be gone. For like he do me, my toe be gone. Bass dots, bass dots. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, if I can have opportunity to change my hands, if I just have to go, just say, ah, what do you want to change your body? I say, ah, what do you want to do? What do you But one thing I can never do is to wear bum bum pad. Never. No matter how much I want hands, I can never wear bum bum pad. Because they work. Wait here, yeah, it's not that deep. They will love you like that. It's just wishing that we are wishing. If you were to date a guy, pick one from each category. A church member. Ah. If I'm to date a church member, I think I would date Precious Ayorindi or Ayodeji. One of those two. I think either of them. Date either of them. Um, an actor, Nigerian and outside Nigeria. For Nigerian actor, ah, I will date Ainaya Nwingwe. <laughs> that guy is hot. He's hot. You know, he's not hot. He's hot. Yeah, that is hot. Hot. Those are his fair. But I don't mind. Outdate him <laughs> outside the country. Ah, I will date that by Aquaman. Where is his name? Jesse Momoa. Ah, if I grab a hold of that man's story. <laughs> Let's move on. An artist, Nigerian and abroad, artist, musician. Who like this? Musician. Ah, Mokon like his Daniel Shah. So I will date his Daniel because he has nice and he's fine. Or Corey Baby. Ah, but boy, so strong. Ah, he's Daniel Corey Baby, Lucia. One of them. Um, outside the country, artist. Ah, weekend. Woo! That guy does used to sing some very <laughs> initiative, in <laughs> intimate, <laughs> anything in me. <laughs> A comedian, Nigerian and abroad. The only comedian I know abroad is Kevin Hart and uh, Trevor Noah. I think I'll go with Trevor Noah. Uh, comedian in Nigeria. Bovi. To me, Bovi is like his life. Like he's just funny. Former Big Brother housemate who liked it. Toby Bakari. He's down to earth. He's funny. He's fine. He has a nice body. Yeah, me. Who's a Yoruba boy? I beg you. Something must kill a woman. <laughs> a tycoon, a tech genius. What am I thinking too much? I lost a day, cool lady. I'm on day top, man. But after that, I don't think you're dating. Say that there's somebody in this garden already. Business tycoon. <laughs> Who like this? That's a business person. No matter the age. Ah, Kazima Bimbola. <laughs> He's a white cake in the business world. I'm a date that man, yeah. But he's married, yo, with children. I'm just saying, yo, disclaimer, yo, he's not such anybody's husband, yo. Please, yo, thank you very much. He's just saying, uh, question and hand dream, you know, things that I wish but cannot come to pass. Yes, and one thing you would give anything not to do cooking, I would do anything in the world so that I don't cook. So it's good. Am I the only one that doesn't really like cooking? Please let me know in the comment section if you don't like cooking. Not that I know I don't know how to cook. Please don't get me wrong. I know how to cook. I just don't like it. Like I will do anything in the world. Like I pray to marry someone that is very good in cooking, like a man, and that doesn't care if um, the woman's you know strength is not in the kitchen because my strength is not in the kitchen, and I'm not going to deceive myself by lying that oh my strength is. I have tried. So it's not like that I do I have tried. I, I cook if my mommy is running after me with kids.
But left to me, left to take out Lagos, <laughs> I'm not going to air out the kitchen for the whole year, for the rest of my life. That's why I said that I have fear for poverty because <laughs> to do that, you must have money. You must have ego, dollars, and dollar for You must have it because <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to feed myself. I don't like to cook at all. So, you know, if you're my husband and you're watching this, <laughs> please, baby, <laughs> please, boo boo. Please know how to cook and to save yourself because you ain't gonna stress me, oh! Please, I'm begging you now. Just be a chef. Just go and learn on my behalf because your wife, her strength is gonna be in the bedroom and not in the kitchen. <laughs> Tell us who your boyfriend is. No lie. Ah, uh, my boyfriend name is for now Anoma and Enyoyi. That is my boyfriend. But you know, if you want to be a candidate to date me, please leave it at the comment section or you know, slide into my DMs and give me a call and let me know that you are applying for the position of Take a Lagos boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna scan you from head to toe, both in and out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, next question. <laughs> One embarrassing moment. One of this one, one embarrassing moment. Hey, hey. So that is how I got invited for wedding. New that see that little still you look fine. You let's go for wedding together. I don't always get to my side. Let me just go. And after that, I really dress fine. I already go there to sleep. So I told my friend that she now said we should bet you that whoever that can get one of the groomsmen because one of the groomsmen were holy spirit. God took time to create some men because they were oily. <laughs> they were hot boys, hot men, you know, dressed in suits, looking like a bag of money, <laughs> smelling like an expensive perfume. We now saw that one is very tall. Fine, Bob. I said, ah, this one, how much suits my shorts? Okay, we'll, we'll go and shoot our shorts, whoever that he gives his number to. So my friend was trying to form, um, you know, notice me. I will pass him here, pass him here. So, when I noticed that this guy was not looking away, I said, okay, let me to try my own meal. Ah, and I don't like to wait up. I now went to go and sit beside the boy. I said, hi, my name is Tika. Where is your name? Say his name is Femi. Oh, Femi, nice to meet you. Ah, okay. I ah, said, so I should see my shorts, yo. He said, oh, the place was too loud. That can we go out and talk? Like, you couldn't hear me, well. I was really like, hey, I'm a girl this man. I was like, ah, okay, no worry. I know how to talk, yo. Guys, uh, my friend. Just felt the need to be used, to be stupid. She now felt the need to drag me by my head. That is a my wig just fell off. Ladies and gentlemen, you know the aisle, <laughs> the aisle where the groom and the bride will come in. We are going out to that aisle. That is how she just dragged my wig. My wig just fell off. Ah, Jesus! How will I escape? Okay. Do you know? Do you know the embarrassing part of it? What was underneath? It wasn't beautiful. My God, you know that it was an unplanned wedding. We did not really plan from the day -day that we go for this wedding. It was just like two days before, so I don't really have time to change my all back. I just said, let me just carry it. Maybe we are we are. I know that they, they, they were going, the devil was going to use my friend to embarrass me. But like the Lord will say, He will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemy. Yeah, I thought that after my wig fell off, I just you know bend down, carry my wig. I went and said. I wear it back. The boy that tell me, oh, shift it. <laughs> Say shift it small so that it will, you know, even help me to set my hair back. I just look at the girl like that. I say, go, you. I will show you. I said that I don't block her. Pa, pa. I don't have time. How can you do that to your friend? And she knew I was wearing wig. She now went to go and drag my wig in the middle. She didn't wait till I got outside. A lot of man. Now embarrassing. Um, what if my future man was gay? Eh? You didn't pay me back, but I want the better. Yes, so Chad boy now, you now ask for my number. <laughs> when I said that the Lord <laughs> who is set the table for you, believe me. You know that I was supposed to be the one to shoot my shot. You now shot his shot and I grabbed his shot. <laughs> and I went home with a fine looking man's number. <laughs> and he went home with my number. <laughs> and he called me before I left there. Please, so let's see. Make sure that you're all back. It's always me. Last question for today. Hey, what does your intro mean? 
啊。It's just a sibling language we came up with to talk to ourselves, within ourselves, so that people don't know what we're talking about. Yeah, so in case you know my brother, uh, my two brothers, tell them to translate what I'm saying for you, but I, it's not bad. So it's just, it's private. It's a family thing, it's a sibling thing. So, you know, my family we create, we impact people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> of my part two and fine i'm not doing question tag to follow on this video so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel <laughs> please subscribe to my channel like and share my video like if you stay to the end of this video you are a darling like your sweetheart so mama so mama is some of me or zangada <laughs> have a good day that's what i meant <laughs>